If you missed your target by three inches one way or the other, you were sometimes navigating like a narrow, as we saw, crevasse yeah. between uh, two stone walls on either yeah. side of you. If you miss, you're dead. Yeah. This time you were talking about hitting a very, very, very tiny target, yes. but not necessarily life-threatening. Is that right? I... Uh, yeah. Not so with life threatening. The, what the hell was that noise? <laughs> well, I mean, the, my target was still set between two steel poles that were 30 feet apart, and it was still only 15 feet off the ground. And if I'd hit any of those things, I still would have died. Okay. But right. it was still, I had a larger margin for error on this one than I've ever had in any of the other ones. So you wanted to be a human arrow and Great Wall of China. Yes. And this was seen on Chinese television. Yes, 11 right? different networks in China, including. 11? Yes. How many people total do you think saw this? Um, the estimates are in the hundreds and hundreds of millions. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So 100 million people tuned in, and yeah. what you, and the goal was for you to do exactly what? Thread this needle, pretty much. Basically, we had a paper target that was seven feet by three feet with a bullseye in the center. So the goal was to put a GoPro this size through a bullseye this size. Traveling how fast? About 120 miles per hour. And uh, you were launched how? Again, from a... I got out of a helicopter about one mile away. To hit a target that small? Yes. How was that? Are you using GPS? How are you even... Uh, <laughs> well, actually, we, we did use GPS to mark where I'm I was... I'm picturing a voice saying <laughs> that you take a right, you know? No. <laughs> No, You've actually, arrived at your destination. Well, the, the one nice thing about doing on the Great Wall of China is actually able to use the Great Wall as a marker point. So I actually got out of a helicopter over one of the top towers, and then I actually rode the Great Wall of China all the way to target, and then there was like a, a mountain slope, and then the Great Wall of China went right under the slope, and then I basically hit the target on top of that slope. Okay, we're going to look at the stunt right now. Uh, and then I think we have two pieces of tape. We'll look at the first one and talk about it first, and then we have a way to look at it from a different angle, which is much slower. Yes. Because this is gonna happen really fast. Yes, it was a very fast stunt. All right, so uh, talk us through what's happening here. 2.5, buddy, run my world. You're okay. in the helicopter, obviously. Yes, what's really cool about this, this is all live. These are all live cameras filming from inside the chopper. So if something had gone wrong, it all would have played out. Live. Hundreds of millions of people. Yes, this was one of the first times we actually had the technology to do live while we're flying. My cameraman's filming me live, and all my cameras on my face okay. are all live, too. So, and there you hit your target. Yes. Incredible going. How fast do you think? <laughs> 120 miles an hour. 120 miles an hour. All right. It's hard to tell from that angle. So we have now a, what would you call this? A, uh, this is a, a different angle. That's a, still gra that's a still frame grab. That's my GoPro going through the exact dead center of the bullseye. Wait, it looks like, it looks like you hit it exactly. Yes. My GoPro went directly through the dead center of the bullseye. So at the last second, are you st you're still making adjustments up until the last microsecond yes. to get your GoPro. Actually, you can see I actually start leaning my head. So what I do is I have my GoPro on a post, and I'm actually looking at the, the GoPro, and I'm using it as a target. So as I'm coming in at my target, I'm looking at it, and I'm trying to literally lean my head into that little spot.